How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about no limit credit cards such as the American Express Centurion or one of various black cards that you can get from various companies. These cards have no preset spending limit, but that doesn't mean you can just spend on anything you want. There is a limit there, but you just don't know what it is. Your actual spending limit is based on your spending patterns, your credit history, the amount of income you have. All these gather together that'll create a limit for you, but you will not know this number. So normally, if you get a good credit score, your spending limit is going to be way above what you normally spend. Personally, I have a pretty high limit and also a pretty good credit score. So there's no way I can actually spend enough to reach my limit. As a ridiculous example, someone here is spending 20k a month, which means every year you're spending $240,000, which is a lot. I don't know how much you have to make um, in order to have this kind of spending pattern, but I mean, let's say it's a rich person, like maybe he pulls in half a million, one million dollars, so he can't afford to spend so much. In that case, you're spending $20,000 a month, so they're gonna set your limit somewhere. We don't know where. Maybe it can be, you know, 20 times this at 400K. But if they set your limit somewhere over here, let's say you chug along and spend $20,000 a month up and down, kind of around there, that's your spending pattern. And then one day you go, oh, I'm gonna buy a personal airplane or something, buy a super fancy car, put it all on a credit card and it's gonna spike like this and then your no limit credit card is gonna go, hmm, you know, this is a bit higher than what you normally spend and then you get rejected. The whole point with the no limit credit card is the prestige. So if you're gonna go around spending stuff and then all of a sudden make a big purchase, if in the event that you get rejected, you're gonna lose a lot of face. These no limit credit cards is probably reserved for people much richer than myself where they can actually spend so much money every single month. Let me mention that I have been invited to sign up for a black card and the annual fee is something like $450. When I look at the benefits, it's kind of like not the kind of spending pattern I would take in order to take advantage of that. I can see some people being able to take advantage of all the features of that car to make it worthwhile for paying $450 a year. Some of these cards like the Amex Centurion requires you to spend something like a million dollars a year but now I think it's gone down to $250,000 a year. And then on top of this spending, you actually have to pay a yearly fee of something ridiculous, like a couple thousand dollars. For the Centurion, I believe is $2,500. Um, it's worth it to some people, but certainly not normal citizens, okay? <laughs> it's interesting to me that people actually want to get these cards, mainly because of the prestige. If you whip out one of these cards somewhere and people see that it's, you know, this fancy black card, people are gonna go, oh wow, um, and then perhaps give you better treatment. You can actually go to specialized lounges, you get all these kind of preferred treatment when you do have these cards. But I feel that much of these owners cannot actually afford to use these cards and spend it the way that they actually do. Take for example a doctor that makes 200k and they spend 150k a year on their credit cards and so because of this high rate of spending, they qualify for some of these no limit black cards and things, things like that. So when they whip it out, they have this prestige, but they're not saving very much. And you can imagine that if they keep on doing this, they're not going to accumulate much wealth. So this is going to appear like this doctor is very well off because they're just spending left and right but at the core of it, they're not saving very much. And so you can see this level of spending is kind of only on the surface. It's very bad for someone that only makes 200K. It all depends on how much of your income you're spending. However, if you're a CEO and you pull in 400K and you go around spending 150K, it's not that big a deal because it's not that big portion of your total income. In that case, this CEO also qualifies for a black card. He gets the same prestige. The prestige level when they pull out this credit card is the same and yet the CEO is a lot better off. Now most people are not doctors, most people are not CEOs. Now if you actually make this much then you can actually afford to have the black card and you know it might be well deserved because you are spending that much, you make that much and you can go to those airport lounges that are really special so you get preferred treatment. Okay, yeah, you can afford it, but I feel like a lot more people strive to get these no limit credit cards when their income does not support it yet. It's unfortunate that a no limit card or a black card is often a sign of prestige, but really all it tells is that you spend a lot. It does not say you have a lot. 
So for me as a good credit card user, I have tens of thousand dollars of credit limit. I certainly will not spend anywhere near that much because if I do, I'm gonna go broke pretty quick. These cards are certainly for very rich people and if you pull in about half a million dollars a year, I'd say you can comfortably use this card and rightfully so and you won't be feeling like you're gonna go broke uh, because you're spending so much because you're just spending at a normal amount uh, according to your income. I think most people don't have to worry about getting the most exclusive no limit black cards. Some of the lower end no limit credit cards like the Chase Sapphire Preferred or the black card, they're like in the $100 annual fee and then the $450 annual fee range. And if those perks that they give you like airport access, exclusive VIP seats to events and things like that, if those are worth it to you, you can get enough value for the annual fee, then it may be worth it to get those cards. Don't forget to give me a like over here, comment down, let me know if you have a black card or a no limit credit card that works for you. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.